The world thinks America's next superweapon is the F-47. But they're dead wrong. Because the real fighter keeping China's generals awake hasn't even shown its face yet. It's the Navy's hidden ghost. The F-A-XX. A sixth generation stealth jet built to rule the skies. Rumoured to fly 25% farther than today's best, with over 1,700 miles of unrefueled range. And today, we're pulling back the curtain on 10 reasons why this beast will make every other aircraft look obsolete. Fifth generation fighters like the F-35 are fast, but they often rely on afterburners to hit top speeds. Using afterburners burns massive amounts of fuel, quickly draining the aircraft's range. You can't win a war of attrition when you're constantly running on empty. The FA-XX solves this problem with pure power and efficiency. It will use adaptive cycle engines. These aren't just powerful engines, they are smart engines. They can adapt their configuration in flight, optimising for either maximum speed or maximum fuel efficiency, depending on the mission requirements. This technology gives the FA-20-2 the ability to cruise at supersonic speeds without using afterburners. This capability is called Super Cruise. In practice, this means the F-A-20 can fly faster than Mark II, allowing it to sprint across huge ocean distances while preserving fuel, and engage targets before enemies even realise what hit them. It can outrun most threats and dominate the air while others are still trying to figure out where it is. If you think the F-22 is stealthy, you have no idea. The F-22 Raptor is often called the King of Stealth, and when it flew, it truly was invisible to most radars. But our enemies aren't sitting still. China and Russia have developed advanced air defence systems specifically designed to counter existing American stealth aircraft. To beat that, the FA-XX had to achieve a new level of invisibility. Air Force leaders described the F-47, the FA-22's sibling platform, as having more advanced stealth than any fifth generation fighter. This isn't just about making the aircraft slightly harder to spot on radar. This is total electronic silence. The FA-20 takes stealth to levels that were unimaginable just a few years ago. We're talking about stealth plus. The aircraft is virtually invisible across the entire electromagnetic spectrum. This means enemy sensors, whether they're using radar, infrared or other detection methods, will struggle to find this aircraft. Its radar signature is so small that it registers as atmospheric noise. American pilots will be flying ghosts that can strike without warning. But invisibility is useless if you can't carry enough firepower. Why build something that will be outdated in 10 years? Military programs usually operate in decades. They build an aircraft, and that aircraft serves for 40 or 50 years, like the F-15 or F-16. But technology moves too fast now. A system that is dominant today could be useless against a new enemy weapon system in 15 years. The Navy knows the FA-XX must stay ahead of rapidly evolving threats, especially from rivals like China. So, what did American engineers build into the FA-XX's core design? They built an open systems architecture, or what the Air Force calls built to adapt design. This design means the FA-XX won't be locked into a single configuration. As new threats pop up and new technologies become available, new sensors, new weapons, new countermeasures, the F-A-XX can be updated and modified quickly without needing an entirely new design. The Air Force plans to buy new fighters roughly every eight years and replace them every 16 years. The F-A-XX 
is designed to be increment one of a continuously evolving family of fighters. This ensures that the Navy always flies the most cutting edge aircraft possible. Traditional fighters like the F-35 were designed mostly for conflicts in Europe, where bases are relatively close together. But the Pacific Ocean is a whole different beast. It is massive. This huge distance creates what military thinkers call the tyranny of distance. If American pilots can't reach their targets without constantly needing risky aerial refueling, they risk everything. Our fighters must travel thousands of miles and operate without easy ground support. So what did the Navy demand for the FA-XX? They demanded a fighter that can hit targets deep inside enemy territory and return home safely. The F-A-XX will have a combat radius that exceeds 1,000 nautical miles. Think about that. That's roughly 25% more operational distance than current fighters and almost double the range of the F-22 Raptor. This means the FA-XX can launch from aircraft carriers far away from enemy threats and still project power across the entire oceanic theatre. The FA-XX eliminates the tyranny of distance. In past generations of aircraft, the pilot was focused on flying the plane, tracking targets and firing missiles. In modern air combat, speed of decision is everything. The ability to detect a threat, process that information and fire back must happen in milliseconds. A human pilot cannot keep up with this alone. The FA-XX changes the job description of the pilot entirely. This aircraft prioritizes sensor to shooter compression. This is the ability to detect, identify, target and destroy enemies faster than they can react. The pilot becomes a battlefield conductor. The FA-XX uses advanced sensors and networking capabilities to paint a real-time complete picture of the battle space across hundreds of miles. The pilot's job is to orchestrate the entire network of systems not just the aircraft itself, allowing the system to react with superhuman precision and reaction times. It is truly a flying command centre. This system is so fast, the enemy simply won't have time to process the threat before it's eliminated. Air combat today isn't just about missiles and guns. It is a war for control of the electromagnetic spectrum. If you control the enemy's sight and hearing, their radar and communications, you win the battle. The FA-XX represents a complete technological leap in electronic warfare capabilities. The aircraft's skin itself incorporates sensors that create a three-dimensional electronic picture of the battle space. Enemy radar signatures, communication frequencies, and electronic emissions are catalogued, analyzed, and countered automatically. The FA-XX doesn't just hide from enemy sensors, it actively manipulates them. It can jam enemy communications, disrupt guidance systems, and even create false targets and ghost formations that confuse enemy air defenses. Imagine enemy missiles receiving targeting updates that send them wildly off course, or air defence systems suddenly seeing friendly aircraft as massive threats. This capability is called electronic dominance. When combined with its drone wingman, which we'll get to soon, the F-A-XX makes enemy forces blind, deaf and mute across huge areas. Remember where we talked about the adaptive cycle engines allowing the F-A-XX to supercruise? Those engines have a second, even more terrifying purpose, generating huge amounts of electrical power. Why does a fighter jet need that much power? Because it is designed to use directed energy weapons, DEW. The F-A-20's high electrical power 
feeds advanced electronic warfare systems and is designed to support future laser weapons. These are weapons that disable enemy electronics or destroy incoming missiles at the speed of light. Traditional air-to-air -air missiles become obsolete when your opponent can burn them out of the sky instantly. Think about the sheer psychological impact on a pilot or a missile operator. They launch a missile and before they can even blink, the FAXX has melted its guidance system. This capability takes the fighter into science fiction territory, ensuring America maintains technological superiority over the battlefield. The Air Force is building the F-47, which shares many of these technologies, but the FA-XX has a massive, unique problem that makes its existence an even more shocking engineering triumph. It has to operate from an aircraft carrier. Carrier-based fighters must withstand constant, punishing stresses, extreme high-speed landings, saltwater corrosion, and the need to fold up and fit into tight carrier spaces. This complexity is why naval fighters are always more complex and expensive than their Air Force counterparts. In fact, the budget constraints and the difficulty of operating long-range fighters from carriers in an age of anti-ship missiles added huge uncertainty to the Navy's entire program. But America didn't flinch. They committed to the F-A-22 because they know that without it, the carrier fleet cannot survive the next generation of threats. The FA-XX is a testament to American engineers solving the most difficult military aviation problem in history, ensuring that the aircraft carrier, the symbol of American power projection, can continue to operate unimpeded around the globe for generations to come. We're almost at the biggest reasons, but before we reveal the FAXX's ultimate power, I want to mention something special. If you are a military veteran, active service member, or someone who deeply appreciates the dedication required to maintain America's defense capabilities, we have a growing community of like-minded individuals who share your passion for military excellence. You can find more information in our description below. The FAXX pilot is the battlefield conductor, as we talked about earlier. But what exactly is the pilot conducting? The answer is a team of artificial intelligence-enabled drones called Collaborative Combat Aircraft, or CCAs. This is where the FAXX becomes truly revolutionary. Each F-A-XX will control multiple drone wingmen. The Air Force plans to field about 200 manned, sixth-generation fighters alongside 1,000 of these advanced CCAs. That means America will deploy the equivalent of 1,200 advanced fighters working as a single, coordinated force. The drones are not simple followers. They use artificial intelligence to make independent tactical decisions while following the manned fighter's strategic direction. These drones are force multipliers. They can carry additional missiles, extend the range of sensors, and even act as decoys to confuse enemy defenses. Picture this incredible scenario. An FA-XX approaches enemy airspace with four CCA wingmen. Two drones carry long-range missiles. One drone specializes in electronic warfare and jamming. The fourth carries ground attack munitions. If the enemy tries to shoot down the formation, they might hit a drone instead of the manned aircraft, protecting our highly trained pilots. Traditional fighter tactics become completely obsolete when your opponent is an organized swarm operating with autonomous AI. Now we come to the single biggest reason, the capability that changes everything. We've talked about the stealth, the speed, the long range, and the drones. But all of that technology points toward one goal, unbeatable situational awareness 
and perfect timing. What is the biggest limitation for rival nations like China and Russia trying to keep up with the FAX? It is integration. China might build a fast-looking prototype, but they lack America's decade-long experience in integrating complex stealth, electronic warfare and networking systems together. The FA-X is built as an ecosystem. Its weapons are designed for this new reality, using artificial intelligence and networked sensors. The aircraft will carry smart weapons that can change targets mid-flight based on real-time intelligence updates. The pilot can redistribute munitions across the entire CCA formation, optimizing weapon selection for specific targets. But here is the final mind-bending part. The FAXX doesn't wait for the human pilot to react. The AI works alongside the pilot to coordinate attacks that overwhelm enemy defenses through sheer complexity and timing. The speed of the aircraft, the invisibility of the stealth, and the intelligence of the network are combined into a system where the F-A-XX detects, targets, and eliminates the threat before the enemy even knows they are being watched. This isn't just winning a fight, it's ending the fight before it begins. The FA-XX guarantees that American air power will dominate the skies for generations to come. The F-A-20 will ensure that the massive costs China and Russia have poured into developing new radar and anti-access systems become largely worthless. You cannot hit what you cannot see, and you cannot fight a system that already knows your every move. This is the next age of air superiority, and the F-A-XX is leading the way. If you found this look into America's future naval fighter valuable and exciting, hit that thumbs up and subscribe for more stories covering military aviation and defence technology.